Alright, let's try out this new kit control deck I've got going. Alright, so I've got two lockpicks, the source and Pokemon decks. Oh, this is... I'm gonna keep it. Alright, so... Um, so the plan with this deck is to use the source to slow down any fast advance uh, while I get my Shaper Raid up. Um, it's also a kit plus a kit plus uh, parasite deck. So. Alright, so first turn he's not threatening any agenda, so I don't feel like I have to drop the source right away. Second, I'm gonna drop my pro contacts and just draw, draw, draw. Uh, so this card is not something I need right now, sadly. So until he threatens something, I'm just gonna like draw two cards, play two cards, draw two cards, play two cards, and I'm hopefully just gonna build up my stack. Um, because it's a Parasite deck with Worm support. Here's my deck list. Here's the music I'm listening to. Okay, so he's securing his centrals, I think, which I don't mind. Um, so I'm always going to draw to play too, so I'm going to play same old thing in lockpick if I don't draw to something more useful. Alright, so now he's threatening uh, something. Or not, he's not even threatening anything yet, he's just stacking up his cash. So, okay, I can play self modifying Coven in my other lockpick right now. Oh, well, alright, wait a second. Um, I think I'm going to play my lockpick so that he's not really aware of what's going to happen yet. But I will play SMC. Yeah, lockpick. So, Gordian Blade's going to cost me 6 to go get. Uh, but uh, then I do, I can break something. Okay, so now he's installed something, so now he's threatening. So, um, and I'm not really ready for it yet, so I'm going to play the source this turn. So there it is, I'm going to play Sure Gamble to boost up, and then the source. And now he's confused. He's like, oh my, this card. I've never seen it. He's all, all, all my dreams of fast advancing out the window. So again, draw two, play two. So I chose to play same old thing there because I I don't want him to know I've got data suckers and I mean MU's not really gonna help me, whereas I don't know, I could bring back a sure gamble if I really need to, which is not really ideal because I can just click Arbor Digit for that. Alright, so there's my Aesops, that's good. Now all I need is a daily cast. Ah, oh, day six. Close enough! Uh, so now with the draw to play to, I want to play probably my Memchip and Data Sucker. And start kind of tipping. I can play an RD interface too. If I play an RD interface and I don't attack RD for a while, it's, it's probably not worth it. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go Clunch Chip, or sorry, Memchip and Data Sucker. So I'm basically waiting for him to just, um, yeah, like, 
have to FA an agenda, like an agenda out. So double biotic labors, install the card. And what, it's gonna be like an accelerated test or something? Yeah. Um, so how do I want to do this? Okay, let's go get my Gordian Blade and we'll start running. Agendas. What did he dump? He dumped Howard. So no, I've burned up my abilities, so I don't really want to run again. Uh, I could tinkering in. It's got a lot of money though. Oh, that can just keep me out with the trace. Uh, and I've already burned my ability this turn, so. I'm just wondering which one of these cards. I mean, I don't have to hold on to a levy because I can just send one thing at that. So I'm gonna draw again. There's a daily cast. So I'll play that. It's gonna give him a ton of breathing room. But then next turn, I'm going to bust some codes, bust some codes, bust some codes, and then Aesop's probably. So this is gonna give him a ton of room. I don't need Aesop's yet, so I'm just going to, um, right now I'm interested in making him lose money, so I'm just going to like attack R&D uh, with my Guardian Blade. He's going to res the first, probably. Uh, so it's a code gate. Uh, I'm going to break it for, uh, that cost me one, two, three to boost, four, five to break. Uh, that sucks. Is it AP? It is APK. So I think I'm going to play my <coughs> my interfaces. Uh, because I know the first one is a code gate. I can tinkering the one in the back, and uh, then just have my have my way basically with the. Um, that's nice. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna attack his hand just to get him to res. Yeah. Oh, so there's that parasite. Let's just attack the hand. See what he will res to defend it. Yeah, so right now I'm just basically bombarding so that to force him to res, um, because I don't have my Parasite 
combo up yet, I guess, if you want to call it that. So that was good, he didn't res anything, um, and now I'm sitting at two virus tokens, I think I'm going to run again, and then I'm going to drop a parasite on his, uh, on his Eli to get into his scoring remote, I guess. got another victory 2.0 so that's fine. Uh, so I'll leave that where it is. Uh, and so yeah, I think I'm gonna enable myself to get into his remote. No, so now I just need to get to my clone chips. Uh, so next turn, uh, I need to get the Zayasop into play so I can take up, <coughs> take the daily cast money off. Uh, so now he's just giving me tons of targets for me to run it. Okay, so I'm going to run either here or like either his HQ or his remote. I want to install Aesops, and I'm not quite sure what I want to do with my last two. Uh, I'm probably going to want to draw a card. So I'll draw a card first. Just another daily cast, nice. Let's run here just in case I need all these clicks to like break a Janus or something. Not that I can res it, but... Okay, so it's a roto turret, I'm just gonna pay two to break it. So my next turn is going to be to take money off the daily casts, or sorry, to nuke daily casts with my Aesops. Probably take... Okay, he just did that, okay. So now he has no money. Okay, so I'll have to target. Um, I'm going to take the money off code busting, and I'm going to run as a remote, I think, is the plan. Uh, I'm going to want to draw a card after that, so I'm going to go card now, code busting, code busting, run the remote. Ice wall for one. She okay. Uh, I'll just break it. Or no. Okay. Do I want to keep going? Because if it's a road, no, I can't. If it's a roto turret, I just lose. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Uh, so I want, <coughs> I want to set myself up for R&D attacks now. So this turn is going to be draw card, draw card, R&D, R&D. Allow me to telegraph my intentions. And now basically he's got he's got to hope he's got ice in his hand, uh, which I doubt because he's been icing up HQ really hard. There it is. That cost him two. Susie, there you go. Okay, do I want to ASOPs anything? Untap, upkeep, draw? No? Okay. Um, so I really want to get to my worm and my clone chips, so I think I'm going to let him score one more. I, mean, I don't know how I feel about this. Like I don't want to bust into R and D this turn. Okay, that's good. So I will. Sorry, I'm not really planning my moves here. I'm kind of shook. Okay, so let's get into R&D this turn. Oh shit, fuck it. I didn't. Okay, so I'm um, Let's do. Okay, so let's go into R&D this turn. We're gonna tinkering uh, the ice in the back. When we're just gonna go in full force. Um, so I'm gonna drop a data sucker to get that extra bonus. Then let's do it.
So he's going to put three face-up cards into R&D. Jackson Howard bought it, Glaber bought it, Glaber. Okay. So I access three. Um, Alex, uh, how do I feel about that? Page two to trash it. Uh, ice wall, leave it there. And accelerate weighted test score it. Uh, and now, I guess I should have drawn a card before I did that run, but we'll see. Not tinkering, that is. So now all I need is a clone chip, or a test run, to uh, get this ball rolling again. Because <laughs> there was way too much ice on the dance floor. Sorry, I need to change this music. Nobody likes your, your music. Thank you. Alright, so he's clicking for credits. Uh, okay, I'm good. Okay, so... I trashed something. He has a nice, a nice wall in his hand. And now I need uh, to get through this Eli somehow. So one day I'll actually draw a clone chip or my worm or any of the cards that are essential to this deck. Tinkering, very essential. I could just tinker and go again. Let's do that. Alright, so he's got a victor coming up, 1.0. BR, okay. And a victor 2.0. Alright, so that was victor 1.0, BER, and victor 2.0. So now I'm debating if I want to drop the source, because I saw that he, he doesn't have agenda, so they're probably in his hand, and he's probably just clicking for money because he wants to biotic bullshit it. So I'm going to draw cards, and uh, if I get a parasite or some clone chips, I might think about attacking. But um, right now, I think my last action is going to be to play... Oh, well, actually, first of all. He stops that. Indexing, nice. Draw, draw. Um, so same old thing, the source I think is going to be my move here. I don't really need a third same old thing out right now, so I'm actually just going to drop code this thing. Seems better. Or one, two, three, four. So I've got four. Uh, I could use an extra MU in case a um, self-modifying code comes up. And then I can create my one. So now his dreams of fast advancing have been dashed, uh, so he's going to have to place even more passive now, because I've just dropped another source. Also, it's really hard for me to just not name this deck Source Control, because it seems very fitting. I did not DC because this is a good game so far. Nice. 
All right, so now he's drawing into a a VR, and that's either like a victor or like another ice wall. Ah, uh, Wotan, Wotan, Wotan. Nice. So as soon as I get a clone chip, that thing is going to die because I'm sitting at a lot of tokens. So I mean, again, he's not threatening anything, so whatever, I got an hour to, I have an hour to do anything. But what's his card count at? <laughs> I'm drawing through my deck a lot faster than he is. So draw, draw. Here's the clone chip I've been waiting for. And so now I have seven cards, so I should play two technically to be the most efficient. But I I don't really need this other pro contact, so I'm gonna play my clone chip. And uh, I think I'll bust some codes. Alright, so in self-modifying code, we believe... Lockpick again. Okay, so how do I... If I want to get into the remote this turn... I didn't draw as an SMC, I didn't draw my worm. Uh, I can't really do it, because if it's a rotor turret, I lose the game. I would need to draw another clone chip, or my worm, on this next draw, and then play it and then run on my last click. So I think I can do that. So let's draw. It's another clone chip. Now the question is, do we believe? Um, I believe, so I know what I'm doing. Let's do it. So let's draw clone chip again. And then uh, we're just going to believe. So we'll run through here. So it's an Eli. I'm going to boost it. Er, awkward. Ice wall, beanstalk, beanstalk. Get rid of that sand sand. Get that sand sand out of here. Um, so I do want to draw through my whole deck just so I can sample thing Levy AR, because I think that'll be amazing. Um, but I do want to get through all my clone chips before I do that, so... Uh, I mean, he's sitting on uh, Blast Creed. Um, I haven't seen... 
Well, I haven't really been looking very hard, but I haven't seen a, uh, a Scorched yet, so I don't think I need to play my Blast Creed. Alright, so there's Worm. Uh, the problem is that I have my two data suckers up, and I, I don't really need the Worm right now. So I think I'm gonna install... I'm gonna run here, force him to res this piece of ice. And I'll just end the run. Uh, that's not even... I, I don't even know if that's worth my time. Well, it's on the lockpick, because that's, that's really useful. And for my final trick... Now, okay, so I saw Sand Sand, so I don't think he's running Scorch. He's not running any tagging ice. So I don't think he's running Scorch, but I would hate to lose the game because I fucked up. So I'm still just not going to play it, because I, I believe. So if I draw here, what can I discard? I can discard a Code Vesting, because I already have one out. And my Scorched. So we'll draw again. Test run, excellent. He's playing super passive. So now, my issue is that I need to kill this Wotan. So I need about 10 of these things. So, okay, he's got no cards in RD. Um, we'll tell you what, we're gonna run his HQ, force him to res, and uh, we're gonna trash that road to turret if he, uh, if he doesn't. Because his agendas have to be pooling somewhere. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Yeah, that was really dumb. What I should have done instead is uh, just parasited it there. Just like, screw it, parasite it. Uh, I could still do that. Uh, that was really dumb. Tell you what, I'm just gonna back out and... Um, I'm actually gonna bring out Worm, I think, just to... Uh, have the extra uh, be able to break things that aren't like as a backup so I can keep going I can keep forcing him to res and then I'll be able to survive like a roto turret or something so I will draw self-modifying code completely useless to me right uh, now install worm So now, <clears throat> I want to hit HQ because I think that's where all those agendas are. So what I'm going to do is at the end of his turn, before my turn begins, I'm going to hit him with uh, a Parasite on his Roto Turret, and then I'm going to run, forcing him to res things. And I have a lot of money, so I can, I can keep that up for a long time. Uh, because the thing is, Worm is really expensive to break subroutines with. Uh, so it's really painful. Alright, so he's acquired Alex, which, okay, that gives him money that he doesn't really need. <laughs> so I know my turn is going to be uh, run HQ, but am I going to want to draw cards before that? I don't know. So this is where he's created a new remote server. I don't 
don't know what's going on. Oh, he's just getting Alex counters. I don't really understand because he has enough money to do anything he wants. So, before my turn begins. So now my lock picking is ready. Um, I think I'm going to bust some codes first. Maybe I'll draw a card, bust some codes, and then go at it. We can bust codes again later if we, uh, if we think. Alright, so he's rezzed Victor, so okay, I'm gonna get through that for free with all my lockpicks. Now, am I willing to pay five credits to access a single card? I don't think so, simply because if it's an agenda, it's going to cost me 8. And he's just going to bounce back with Alex anyways. Ah, if I get through this, I want it to die. I don't want it to, uh, yeah, to just stare at it. So I think I'm going to bust some codes. I'm going to throw out self-modifying code, because I don't need it anymore. All my core runs are out. So if I look at all my cards, I should have one more clone chip. And one more test run. Uh, and I need to have used that to kill ice. So I think I'm going to test around the Parasite on the Archive Ice, just because then it gives me a good source of Data Sucker tokens. And it doesn't consume my uh, Gordian Blade. But do I want to use a test run for that? So my whole turn is going to be spent clearing off the Archives. Uh, I don't want to hit any agendas because uh, I still have the source out. So I'll draw. Okay, this is my second Aesop's. So if I now I'm gonna I'm gonna play this and run, and then I'll have one quick left. Okay, so let's do let's just do it then. Uh, search your heap. So I played that wrong, I should have used a credit at the end there. Right, because I had I had worm, I didn't need to sacrifice a token. Because the tokens are worth more to me than credits right now. Now the thing that's crazy about worm is that it doesn't matter how much It doesn't matter what I say, if you have an infinite amount of money, you can blitz through anything. Is this guy close to decking himself yet? No, okay. I just want to make sure I did throw my levy right. Okay, I threw my levy. Um, so I should probably start getting ready for the eventual levy that's going to happen here. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got a test run. Right now I'm thinking, how can I use this to get this Wotan destroyed? Um, I know one of these cards is a clone chip. <laughs> so how about I draw? Hopefully it's my clone chip. Nice. Nice! That deck knowledge. So I'll play this, and then I'll play the same old thing, just to be it. Like, the uh, hand size. So next turn is going to be draw my final card. Uh, okay, wait, wait, now I gotta look at this and, and, and call what it is. Um, it's going to be my third self-modifying code. Okay, may maybe I don't even want that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here comes that advance. Oh yeah, he doesn't need because he has sense. Okay, I was like, um, my source. You just ignored it. Okay. All right. So now it's time to go like all gung ho and blitz through everything. So how do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna tinkering the Wotan and then just break Eli with clicks. I'm gonna sure gamble. Tinkering the Wotan. Which, by the way, should be AP. I even got no idea. The brain damage is not AP, apparently. Uh, and I don't really need any exit because I've got my three things out. Uh, I could, you know what I mean? I'm, gonna, I'm doing it. I'm gonna test run. Parasite. And then I'm gonna hit a snare and lose the game. That's what's gonna happen. Let's do it! Ice wall, okay. So this needs to get to 9, or 10, right? So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Um, do I want him to keep his Adonis campaign? So now he just drew into an Adonis, and now I'm scared that he's holding it, like, he's clearly holding onto agendas. He's gonna drop it, and that's it, and score it. Or, or not. Okay, so that's the Adonis. I'm gonna assume. Which I think is the safe bet. Oh, okay, maybe not. Awkward. So I 
So it cost me one, two, three, four, five to get into the server. Do I want to levy this turn? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I still have a clone chip, so... Yeah, and then I'll, I'll levy this turn. So now I can only hope that that was... Oops, he says. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, so good guess on the Adonis. Okay, so I should probably hit R and D again. The question is, do oh, I was gonna say, do I want to hit with indexing? But indexing's gone, so that's that's out the window. So I want to hit R and D at least once this turn. Now I'm gonna run it on my first click, uh, and then maybe draw a card later, which I know I I always ride on people for, but it's because it, what I see if I'm forced to pay to trash cards and they want to look deeper. Like if I had three Jackson Howards, not that he has three left, but... Okay, let's do it! <clears throat> as soon as I can res, that costs 14 to res. That's his Wotan. So this is boost, 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 break, break. Oh, this is tough. Okay. Leave that there. That's the game. Whew. So I think that went pretty well. Um, the purpose of the deck was really to be able to slow the corp down long enough in order to get my rig out, and I think it worked really well. Uh, I think I think beta suckers are probably infinitely superior than worm. Um, because so the original idea was like, okay, you, you force them all. Huh? You force them to have one piece of ice on every server, and you can do that uh, by warming through. 
I think, I think it's a, but I think it's good backup because it is kind of like your third data sucker, um, but it also breaks stuff in case. Because once I got it out, I didn't have to fear a roto turret. Which I, like, yeah, sure, it cost me six to to break it, but at least I don't lose my programs. Which now that I think about it is not so terrible because I have so many clone chips, I have test runs. Like, there's so many ways of getting my programs back. Um, I think MVP of the deck is probably Professional Contacts. Uh, just any Shaper deck where you want absolutely everything out on the table, this card is so good. It is like game-breakingly good. Um, another card that I really like actually is Aesops, and the, the real purpose of Aesops is so that you could pawn off your the source if you, you know it's an agenda they've put down for, for some reason, which I never do. Uh, but it goes so well with code busting, daily casts. Uh, it just it accelerates you so much, and I love it. It's so good. Uh, I think the lock picks are really crucial as well. I think uh, what they do is that they make so you know during like the mid game, I was basically just attacking. Oh god. Um, I was basically attacking just to get the corp to res their ice. You know, I was just I was punching one, and then I'd, I'd end the run immediately after. Um, just to get them to just to slow them down, and the lock picks actually make that type of attack free. Like once you have your three lock picks out, like okay, I, I break your wall stack for free. And then so you're not taxing yourself when you do that; you're just taxing um, the corp. Now, the one thing that it, um, I feel that this deck is, would be weak against is a successful demonstration because of that tactic where you're you're just attacking to force them to res. Uh, so yeah, because you're constantly like ending the run yourself, and that's probably not <clears throat> the best idea. So if you spot a successful demo in like an early R and D run access. Uh, it's probably going to be painful. Uh, what other cards do I have? Out here? The mem chips are good. Um, could do that or toll or not toll. Uh, the toolbox. Uh, toolbox would let me have the recurring credits that I can use with Worm, which is really good. The extra memory, uh, an extra card slot. But I like having mem chip because if you really need to, you can sack it to Aesops. You can use it, and you can yeah, you can recycle it basically for uh, that boost. Because you know, a lot of times, like in the the corp will count how many credits you have, and be like, oh, there's no way they can get it. And you're like, surprise! I stops my memory away. You can always bring it back with uh, Levy AR, so that's not that's not terrible either. I think maybe one card that I may have to cut is the same old thing. Because I mean, they sat there on the table, uh, and again, I love them because you can sack them to Aesops. <laughs> That's their redeeming quality. It's like a click for three credits, um, and they're only there. Like what? What events am I running? Can I can I look at my cards? Do this guy's disconnected? Okay, nice. Um, sure, gamble. So I'll just look at the deck list. Uh, so I have indexing, which is really good to reuse, I guess. Um, Let VAR, sure gamble, test run, tinkering. Um, so they're not really actually doing a whole lot for me. I could. Just cut that. I have to think about what I want to put instead there, but uh, maybe a second blast creed. Because um, yeah, no, three of them is a bit brutal. I the thing that I do really enjoy is that they let you throw away your your Larlo there, Larlo that's out of the game, but um, your Levy AR access. It lets you throw that away uh, so that you can basically call it back whenever you need to, which is exactly what I did this game. Like, if I was sitting in my hand the whole time, and or if I was playing against Jinteki, I'd basically be really scared of losing it. Whereas, a same old thing ensures that you can always play it. As long as you don't end up tagged, and, well, I mean, I'm not running Account Siphon, so they're probably looking at that going like, oh, it's, it's, it's useless. But, three of is probably overkill. Probably drop it to two of, maybe even one of. Uh, so that being said, so that was a long game. Uh, I expect all the games I play with this deck to take that long. 
because simply it's, it's just the slowdown deck, right? It's the counter to, okay, fast events, fast events, fast events. It's like, no, actually, I can, I can pull back the source four. Like, I can play the source four different times. And I have so much money that I don't actually care about the, um, the downside of it. Um, the card I was running in version one that I may, may put back is, uh, I was running Chicana, which is basically like the, the Shaper in-house source. Um, but I found that when you play the source, you don't really want to run because you're just basically you're just using it to stall for time uh, in the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm just using it to stall for time, and I want it to. Uh, I don't want to hit an agenda in R&D and have to pay three for it, so I don't run R&D. Uh, but when I did play my contr the like with Chicana, I found that the corp every time it was on three, they just wiped it, which is really good because they waste their time. Uh, but really bad because uh, over that version I didn't have data suckers. I was completely relying on Worm uh, to do the dam like the damage. But oh, man, it's hungry. So I think Chicano might be one virus too many, uh, but it might fit. Let's see uh, if I cut out the same old thing. It might fit. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you again. I'm just letting the music play a bit. Oh yeah.